So my last Deltrune theory video was basically just a mixed bag of like a bunch of theories and explain the end the ending of it. Like, you know, I covered, oh, Chris is the knight and everything. Like, you know, covered some of my thoughts on what Rousey and Susie and the future of it a little bit. But I want to cover today a specific topic. A topic that I haven't seen anybody cover because they've been usually doing the endings and stuff explained. Or like doing other stuff explained. But I haven't seen this one around. Maybe I just missed it somewhere. Maybe there's some smaller channels covering it. But here's a... Here's something I want to cover today. What happened to Chris? So, pretty much. Uh, we know in the story... Uh, um, sorry, sorry, we're, we're just going to dive right into it now. But we know in the story that something changed with Chris. Chris used to be very different than they act nowadays in Deltarune. They used to act so differently, but for some reason they aren't themselves anymore even like everybody in town says this heck even like people who are new knows this like sans for example he's like oh wait it's weird that um you know you're saying hey again to a fellow to you know a stranger it's like it's so weird why is chris acting like that well here's my personal take on what happened and i already mentioned it but basically the the soul the heart or whatever you, the soul, are controlling Chris and everything. That's pretty much the basis. I'm just going to get right out the basis of my theory, but it's pretty much you control Chris. You, the player, control Chris. Chris is an actual character, and you control him, whether he likes it or not. And he, you can tell he doesn't like it because, like, sometimes during the stories, you'll see that Chris, like, kind of struggles, and especially at the endings where he just rips you out so he can do his own stuff. But pretty much, Chris, like, Chris is a character, and you possess him, and you control his actions, which is why Chris isn't himself. And let me go to some further detail down the line, but let's start this off about how the soul got into Chris, and, like, how did this happen, and maybe why Chris, of all people. Well, it has something to do with the bunker, of all things. So the bunker is a mysterious topic in Deltarune. We don't know what it is. It's just all the way down to the south side of town. It's just a big bunker that when you play, when you speed the song up by um, 666%, it plays the Gaster's theme. So pretty much it's tied to Gaster's some way. But we don't know how. But chapter 2 gave us a kind of more stuff that actually means a lot in, in terms of the story. You see... Um, when you go down to the bunker with Susie, you actually see that Monster Kid and Snowdrake are there for some reason, and they're just eyeing the bunker saying, Oh, I dare you to go in and everything, and they're like, Oh, it's scary, but like, at one point they mention, Don't be like Chris, when they talk about go going into the bunker. Well, no, they don't say don't be like Chris, but they say, but Monster Kid is like, But, but Chris, what happened to him? And then, um, I think Snowdrake was like saying, Oh, don't be, uh, uh worse like Chris and everything. But why, why Chris? What happened to Chris in that bunker that made people think he's a scary cat? Or even what, what happened to make him go in? Well, I think it kind of just is, is probably just he got bullied into going in or he got put into a dare or something to go in. That's uh, because we don't have any evidence to say that there was something else that compelled him to go in. But for now, he went in. So what we know from this conversation is that Chris went into the bunker for some reason and just went in and came out running, apparently, because people think he's a scary cat now. Something happened down there, and I think what happened down there is that the soul first possessed Chris down there. I think what happened is that Chris either got bullied or convinced into going into the bunker, and something happened including it, that involves the soul. Maybe... Maybe that entire opening of Deltrune w was Gaster in the bunker creating a soul and creating a vessel for it. And then Chris walked down there and Gaster was like, oh, wait, this is a perfect vessel. It's the same. It's like even better than the one that was just made. And that's why yours gets discarded because Chris came down the bunker and then Chris is chosen. And it would tie in very well to the metaphor that Chris is a puppet or Chris is basically... The exact same of Spamton, 
Spamton is a pup is a guy who's like basically a puppet on strings. When you cut his strings, he basically falls to the ground and becomes limp. And the same thing is, is happening with Chris. The soul basically merged with Chris in that bunker and now it's tied to him. It's his strings and he's the puppet now. And it will also explain what happened in that bunker and why he, maybe you don't want to open it or something because um, I, I don't know. At, at some point that bunker is going to open and I feel like we're going to find Gaster's like lab down there. And then maybe like a glass like tube shattered that's like the size of the, the soul or something. Something down there that will link the soul in, into like possessing Chris because I think that's what happened. Chris went down there and for some reason and the soul ended up possessing him. And I feel like that will explain so much about what happened to Chris. But you know, now you're possessing Chris and depending on how you act pretty much it 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 doesn't change too much because the Deltune story um doesn't like it doesn't have multiple endings it ends still the same but I feel like even if you do nice things Chris doesn't like that because it's not him making the decisions it's some random soul that's doing it so I think that's why he still like like rips you out and stuff like that so he can have free will for a little bit and make the dark fountains which I want to cover that too but give me a second to finish this off but Chris is possessed by you, know, you the player the soul and he wants to be free again in some way uh it's not it's not know how he's going to do that but in some way he wants to be free he doesn't want to be a puppet anymore and I hope we see that in future chapters because it'd be interesting to see what a normal Chris is a Chris who's not just possessed by this this like you know soul and everything a Chris who's a normal kid a Chris when he was with Asriel Alright, so with the bunker out of the way, we can move on to more present stuff, I'll say. So now we're going to talk about what exactly Chris is doing now. And I've heard a lot of people say that Chris isn't the knight. The reason is that um, they think that Asriel is the knight, like Asriel sneaking around. But Asriel's off to college. We know that Chris talks to Asriel. So it wouldn't make sense that he's able to sneak around town without anybody knowing in the, inside their entire town. Granted, you might be asking how Chris snuck through the town, but it's more believable that Chris did than, you know, the, the kid who's in college right now. So I think, uh, I, I'm just going to say right now, it's, Asriel is not the knight. Uh, Asriel, at this point, and this is just with the evidence we have so far, maybe at some point it just flips on his head and... Um, Asriel is the knight, but as of right now, Asriel is not the knight. Chris is the knight. Chris has the ability to open these dark fountains. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, all lightners have that ability. Surely Chris just learned, but I don't think, you know, I don't think Chris just learned that um, with the way he did it. I think Chris already knew how to create dark fountains, which leads into my theory that the Dark Fountain in Rousey's Kingdom was created by Azriel. It was a pure Dark Fountain, maybe. And the one that Chris is making is pretty much just one's his versions. It's not perfected, you know? That's why you always have to close them, too. Because he's going to live too much into his fantasies and everything. And it's not a pure one like Rousey's Kingdom. Um... Also, I will touch up on Rousey in another future video because I have two solid theories for what they, what he is exactly is, like, you know, what Rousey is. But I'll cover that in the future. Right now, though, um, Chris is definitely the knight. Again, Chris is definitely the knight. Like, literally in Queen's diagram, it literally shows a knife with a giant hand piercing into the ground. And people keep saying that, Oh, well, surely they recognize Chris. Oh my gosh, surely the the Chaos King and Queen will recognize Chris at least. But never have they ever said they seen the knight. They know about his actions, but even the Chaos King, I don't think, has seen him. And you can see even in, uh, not even just her uh, Queen's diagram, but in her TV room where she's showing her henchman the video. It literally, when you interact with that TV, it states that you can't see anybody because the smoke is too much. That also gives a big hint at the knight it was 
unable to be seen. All they probably saw was like a like an outline of him. And then like you know, he walked away and they're like, Oh my god, he must be a good guy because he gave our world life. On top of that, um, I also feel like people are not getting the fact that I already cover this in the bunker theory, but I'm just gonna reinstate it now. People aren't really getting how this game is working and how it's different than Undertale so far. Because they keep saying, oh, okay, it's Carla possessing Chris, but like Chris actually has naturally red eyes, as we can see when they're spinning um, in during like going into the dark world. You can see that when right before they spin, they flick their hair up and it shows a red eye. They actually have naturally red eyes, um, surprisingly, which I mean, that's pretty cool. But, you know, just telling you guys that. And on top of that, people have been saying that it's actually Kara, but I mean, one, she's in from the Undertale universe, so how would that even work? And two, I feel like it would just, I don't know, it would just ruin the character for me if it was like, oh yeah, they're just possessed by a different character. Because I feel like the concept of a character being possessed by you and wanting to break free is such a good idea, and I hope it sticks with Chris. I hope he stays his own character you obviously possess him and control his actions but i hope he stays his own character he like doesn't want you because he wants to be an individual you know i feel like that would be so much better than oh he's just possessed by this character from another universe i feel like that would pretty much ruin the payoff but anyway that's my entire thing on chris chris is pretty much a child who has been through a, not a rough life but so far has been getting pretty rough his parents have divorced and his brother has moved to college his only friend basically uh, besides like noel and them but even then i'd say asriel was more of a friend chris during um from what we also know in deltrune is that he used to be a prankster a lot he used to like um, look up bath bombs and like how many knife how many knives can fit into jelly jello and all that stuff. So we know Chris was a prankster, but uh, like people have been like, oh well, um, Chris was just pranking Toriel at the end of um, chapter two. But like slashing tires is against the law, my guy. Like I don't think he's just doing a prank. That's actually against the law. But yeah, Chris is like. A troubled child now because he lost his best friend and his parents are divorced and at some point someone convinced him to go into the bunker um that's at the bottom of the town somebody something some it's like something convinced him to go down there and he did and when he got down there he saw something that he probably should not have seen and then that's when the soul possessed him and then from that point chris started like not acting his own self and everything and basically being a puppet to that heart and i think that might have actually happened maybe right before we, we actually interact with him in chapter one that may have been literally the night that happened and then the next day we started possessing him so i'm guessing that's what happened but yeah and and during all that time chris is opening the dark worlds like he probably opened the closet one before all this happened. Or maybe even the n night right before he opened the card castle one. Because he wanted to pr pretty much um, relive his fantasies with Asriel before he gets back from college. And that's how it happens. He st slowly starts opening these fountains. Um, Rousey, who again I'll explain in the next video, wants to close them for a specific reason. To, sl to make sure that Chris doesn't like basically get overwhelmed by his fantasies the titans are pretty much his fantasies overwhelming him like if you ever like um wonder why people like don't always like you know st get stuck into their own fantasies that's probably why because it destroys them on the inside and that's what's gonna happen with chris also people have been saying that the dark world's actually fake or that um chris is imagining all this but well it can't be because if he was then every single person in the town has to be fake because, I don't know, they keep acknowledging it, but yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much what I think is going to happen. Is that, um, well, not going to happen, but that's what happened to Chris. And what's going to happen is that slowly throughout the chapters, more people get sucked into these fantasies with him. He slowly starts to fight more secret bosses to that basically allude to what is happening to him. And at the end, at 
at the end of all this, he's either gonna be free from the soul, like the soul leaves and let him be free, or um, he just accepts the soul and everything. And I, I don't know what's gonna happen exactly, but I mean, hopefully it's a good end for Chris. Because I feel like Chris is not the, like, villain. Like, he... Of course, he is the villain. He's the open... He's the knight. He's opening all the dark fountains. But I don't think he's, like, morally evil. Like, he's not just gonna murder everybody. I think it's more so he's trying to get rid of the soul. And relive his fantasies with Azriel. But, yeah. That's my theory. I may have missed some stuff. Or, like, um, gotten stuff wrong. So, be sure to tell me in the comments. I actually do really like some people's theories. Like, um... Um, it, like, some of them I don't heart because I don't, like, agree with them fully, but I do enjoy seeing those, like, wacky theories. So don't, don't, like, be, um, disarmed or, like, I, I don't know the word for it, but d don't, don't worry about that, okay? I, I do enjoy those comments a lot. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. I, um, really hope I get to 1k soon, and, um, you can help by subscribing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm not going to make it that long. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.